question that a lot of us have asked. Have, can women have it all? It's the age-old question that becomes more complicated when women try to decide if and when to have children. So-called egg-freezing parties are one way fertility doctors are letting women know about new options. A group of women, some wine, and a little girl talk. It sounds like your average night out. Until you realize everyone is talking about freezing their eggs. So Jenny was telling me that she was telling people she was coming to an egg freezing party and they were like, well, what do you do? Just take your eggs out right there and put them on ice? And I was like, yes, that's exactly what we do here. Actually, egg freezing parties are growing in popularity as a way for fertility doctors to inform women about new options for delaying motherhood. Before 2012, the American Society of Reproductive Medicine considered egg freezing experimental, but new technology has led to change that designation. There's very minimal risk, and so uh, women will inject themselves with injectable gonadotropins, and these are hormones that are used to help them produce the eggs. And then once the eggs are ready, we retrieve the eggs. Same day procedure, they get anesthesia for it. Once they're done with the procedure, that's it. They're done with the entire process. On a recent night in Frisco at an egg party at Painting with a Twist, a group of women gathered to paint and learn more about egg freezing from someone who's already had it done. I decided to do this because I'm getting older and I don't want to miss an opportunity to actually have my own children. And, you know, you don't ever always know what the body's going to do or what's going to happen. And so this was my way of kind of securing a chance to have my own biological child. And Amanda got the idea for egg freezing from an unlikely source. I watched the really silly show, The Bachelor. So <laughs> and so I watched um, the one, the nurse that was the fertility specialist. And she kept promoting it and she kept talking about it. And in my personal life, things weren't going the way I wanted them to. So it was, you know what, she's right. I need to do this. I need to step up to the plate and get what I want, regardless of how my love life is going. But another woman whose husband passed away a few months ago explains why she was there to learn more about egg freezing. I'm in a situation where I lost my husband and I'm a widow, so you never know what the future holds. And I would like to have more kids one day, so um, being that I'm 35, freezing my eggs might be the best option for me. Some women say it's not always about having it all or putting your career first. They may be waiting for the right person who's worth it. And egg freezing is just a little insurance. Interesting. Joining me now in studio is Dr. Dorette Noor Hassan from Fertility Specialists of Texas. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Jane. One of the things that you wanted to address and is really interesting when you talk about the cost of this, there are companies like Facebook, Apple, and other companies that are kind of helping pay for the cost? How does that work? So several companies and insurance companies are now also paying for egg freezing. Um, uh, other women are paying out of pocket for it. Um, it's a very simple, easy procedure to be done. And uh, um, these companies have been helping their employees do something like freeze their eggs for the future. So what is the cost? So the cost varies from person to person. Some people, their insurance companies cover some or all aspects of the egg freezing process. So some companies will pay for the ultrasounds and the blood work, but not the procedure. Other insurance companies will pay for the medications. So the best thing to do is to sit down with the financial specialist to go over the cost. You know, we were talking before the show and I said, you know, I mean, I've been hearing about this for a long time. What, is, is this like more popular? What is the deal? So prior to October 2012, egg freezing was just done experimentally here in the United States. So it was done under an IRB protocol, where typically it was women who were about to undergo chemotherapy treatment or some type of treatment which can affect their mm -hmm. eggs. And so those women were allowed to freeze their eggs. But since October 2012, the American Society for Reproductive Medicine came out and said that the benefits outweigh the risk, and now women can electively choose to freeze their eggs. So it's only in the last three years now that it's actually becoming more and more popular, and women are finally learning about it and that this is an option for them. You also said the technology has improved immensely, and so I was saying, so if you freeze an egg, I mean, is the chance that that egg is going to work eventually just as good as if it weren't frozen? 
Yes, yes. So the technology now that we have is vitrification, which is a rapid cooling of the egg, which prevents ice crystals forming inside the egg. And so a frozen egg in a very good quality egg is practically equal to a fresh hmm. egg in terms of its success rate. And what about the, so what happens, it's frozen, it's stored, what about the retrieval process? What's that involve? The retrieval, same day procedure, done under anesthesia, so the woman doesn't feel anything or remember any part about the procedure. Very simple, easy procedure. We remove the eggs and she can go home that same day. It takes us 45 minutes at the most to do the procedure. And last but certainly not least, we've talked about the physical parts of this, we've talked about the cost of it. What about any moral or ethical questions that people have brought to you? So that's one of the really good things about egg freezing is that eggs are unfertilized, whereas embryos are fertilized mm -hmm. eggs. So uh, couples with, or women with religious, moral, cultural concerns regarding freezing and having embryos stored, Egg freezing is a very good option for them um, because it's an unfertilized egg. Interesting information. Thank you for coming in today, doctor. We appreciate it. You can log on to fertilitytexas.com if you want more information about egg freezing by fertility specialists of Texas.